That is all. Back again. That was a short, uh, short update as we enter a tunnel. Okay. Very hard to find food. God, I'm yellow. Very hard to find food, especially as I'm doing a marathon tomorrow. I'm trying to get nutrition and stuff like that. So I had a stop for fuel, for petrol, and I stopped for food as well. And I have no idea what it is I'm eating. I just know it's bread and different types of bread, loads of bread. So I have these Mediterranean sticks, I think, so they're called. And then I have, bear with me, bear with me. This will be worth it, I promise. I have, what is this? Oh, warm chocolate croissant. Warm chocolate croissant. I'm gonna have that in a minute. But that's not all, that's not all, come here. I'm stuck in weaving all over the place. I have this. I have no idea what this is. Oh, feels squidgy. It's a cheesy bread thing. Cheesy bread thing. Some more cheesy bread things. But come here. I have more. I have protein bar one, protein bar two, protein bar three, protein flapjack four. And then to round it all up, I have a protein donut. Protein donut. So that's it. That's all you need for a marathon. Forget about all this uh, nutritionally calculated um, special foods and shit like that. Just go to a petrol station, stock up with loads of bread products of questionable origin, and um, loads of protein bars, just shite that you find in the fucking thing. Right, so I'm um, out of here. Bye bye. See you in three hours. Take the next right. Me. Google, you're a fing tit. Continue on men like a bodakabo for three kilometers. Four hundred meters, turn left onto Bodakabo. Uh, it's about it. I was still waiting for some... some oh, f*** off! Details, <laughs> Got to be f***ing kidding me here! Head southwest on Bozakovo, Medlife to Bozakovo. Head southwest on Bozakovo, Medlika, Bozakovo. Then turn left onto Bozakovo. Turn left onto Bozakovo. Then flight right to stay on Bozakovo. You f***ing Continue on Medlika, Bozakovo for three kilometers. So yeah, I've no idea what's happening here. This is just getting across the Slovenian, Slovenian border. It's not even getting into Croatia. It's just getting out of Slovenia. So so I've already been here about six, seven minutes, but this queue just goes back. Okay, my phone keeps stopping because of the heat. It's about 30 odd degrees. So, um, seven minutes here so far. Okay, so Google Maps made an absolute pause and sent me to a dead end. I'm getting quite stressed here now because I'm pissed off. We're stopped at um, a border, the border checkpoint. It's about 40 odd cars in a straight line, um, which is ridiculous and no one's moving. Um, I went to have a look and I came back and cheeky bastards tried to leapfrog me. But um, 
It's a bit of a farce. Um, just a single, I've never known a, a border crossing like it. And uh, nothing's moving, people are just out of their cars just trying to figure out what's happening. It's just one checkpoint and there's literally 40, 50 cars. So, um, yeah, so my estimated arrival has gone to from 1.30 to 10 past two. It's about in 40 minutes and it's probably just gonna get more than that now. So, um, yeah, well shit. This is an absolute joke. So this is the second one, and it's even longer. Uh, second checkpoint, just to get out of Slovenia, and it's even longer. Um, I'm gonna have one last shot to go down to Vinicia, which seems to be a bigger town. Um, it's 14 minutes away, it's on the border. I mean, I've got nothing to lose here, but this is, this is unreal. This is ridiculous. So, um, Right, where are you sending me? Um, Turn left onto Zunichi, Zunichi Vinica, signs for Vinica. So I've got nothing to lose here. It's 12 minutes away, it's 10K. It's a, for 10 kilometers. it's a little further further south. So as long as I'm still moving, I just need to be moving. But it's, it's um, bugger me. This is the EU, Every this is the EU. So. And everyone in that queue is uh, is EU, is European. It's all German, predominantly German, few Dutch, um, and Croatian to get back into Croatia, Slovenian. And this is just to get out of Slovenia. I don't know what's, what the story is, because when I looked, um, you know, the, the, the queue is just stopped at the first checkpoint, which is the Slovenian checkpoint, and there's nothing ahead of that. It's all empty then to the Croatian side. So, I don't know, no idea what's going on. Um, but I mean, I was half an hour at the other place here, you know, I, well I've just turned around, I'm just taking a, a minute around, um, I'm going to see if this place is even, I may be, but I have no idea, I have no idea, I'm just completely winging it, completely winging it, so, see how it goes, at this stage, no idea what time I'm going to get to Pit Mitcher. um, I'm driving like a bit of an ass. alright, chat to you later. Disaster, absolute disaster. So um, now this is the third checkpoint. This actually seems to be longer than anything. Um, so don't really know what to say. This is getting out of Slovenia. This is just getting out. And again, so all in front of me is just German, 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 Swiss. But, um, so we're looking at about hours. So at the present moment, it's um, Google Maps is now telling me three o'clock. It's originally half one, so I'm an hour and a half. And who knows? Well, okay, 15, four, five to 14.55, it's just added on a minute. So I'm not moving again, I'm gonna stay in this queue and just see how, how it goes by this stage. Um, and I'm now not going to have enough fuel to get to uh, uh, to get there. I'm going to have to have a, a fuel stop before I get there. Yeah, my love of Slovenia is waning rapidly. Speak soon. melting I don't even know what time it is I don't know how long I've been here I'm melting
Ewa, smoke on the water. I see, baby. Shaking that ass. Shaking that ass. You raise me up like a mountain. It's 10 to 2. I should have arrived at the hotel 20 minutes ago. Satnav tells me I have two hours to go. One hour and 59 minutes. Expected arrival. 10 to 4. When I should have been there half one. <laughs> oh. So it's now 14.31, an hour after I was supposed to have arrived at the hotel, and I'm still in this queue. So Google Maps is now telling me 17 minutes past four, which is not far off three hours. Oh, moving. I'm not even bothering putting it into gear, because we're going downhill, so just take off the handbrake and roll. About 22 meters and stop. Um, I reckon that if I stayed at the first one, I would have been over by now. I'm, 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 I'm quite happy to accept that that um, I made a fuck up. You are in what? 13 minute congestion. You are still on the best route. 13 minute congestion. You're serious, fucking Egypt. 13 minutes from here, about the last two hours. So probably safe to say I would have stayed, if I'd stayed at the very first one, I probably would have been across by now and uh, could well have been at the hotel by now. But nothing ventured, nothing gained. Um, who dares wins and, um, you know, something valor favors the brave or some sh i don't know i'm delusional at, the pr at this present moment so but we went to know because that was no one was nobody knew what was going on everyone was confused everyone was out of their cars wondering what the hell was going on and there was about 40 cars ahead and just one lane but now there's about 240 cars in this queue and seemingly only one lane as well so and this was the third one i thought and find another border crossing on Google Maps, race down to that one. That one was the same. I just about turned straight away. I didn't even bother waiting. And straight down to this one, because this one is um, a bigger town. A bigger, uh, so I thought bigger crossing. Yeah, it is a bigger crossing with a lot more. 300 meters, continue straight. Uh, I can't go fecking anywhere else, missus. And uh, <laughs> there's a, a speed sign here saying 60. 60 what? steps an hour um so yeah but you know what do you do i'm here now there's nothing i can do about it so three hours later than planned on a journey that was already around three hours long so it's gonna take me six hours six hours to get to go 220 kilometers it's getting hot in here. Let's put the air conditioning back up again. So anyway, that's the update. 28 minutes past four now, they think I'm gonna get there. So I finally left Slovenia. Well, I've left immigration through the police thing anyway. So I'm still just, still stuck trying to get into Croatia. So this is where the delays are. Um, Slovenia just slide through, no worries. But uh, 
I don't know, they must be doing COVID checks or something in Croatia. I have no idea. Uh, this is utterly insane. Um, so, what can I do? So, fingers crossed I get back into Croatia. I only left Croatia yesterday. And I flew into Croatia on Thursday. So, there shouldn't, shouldn't be any issues. But, who knows? Who knows? Right. See you later. Okay, so I'm literally 20 meters away. There's probably about maybe five, six cars in front of me. Uh, it's now 20 past three. Um, I should have arrived at the hotel two hours ago and um, Google Maps is now telling me I'm going to arrive there at just after five. I left uh, Ljubljana just after, ten, uh, just after 10. So it'd be seven hours to get um, 219 kilometers. So 120 mile. 130 miles, Continue seven hours. One and a half kilometers. Yeah, I have to get through the feckin' immigration first there, missus. Um, so this is the Croatian side. So I don't know, I'm assume, I can only assume they're just giving grief with um, COVID tests and COVID stuff and like that. So, you know, I'm legit. I got into the country the other day. I only left yesterday for 24 hours, but you always feel nervous. Well, I do anyway, but um, yeah, so more than three hours three and a half hours i'm losing the will to live so and there was me thinking perfect time to get the hotel for half one which is perfect because i can't pick up my race package for the marathon place until until uh two so it was closed until two now well f four minutes past five it's telling me anyway i better stop because there's about three cars in front of me now hopefully they're nice and just let me through nice and quickly ciao ciao later bye Good afternoon, from Ireland. I, kept, I flew in on Thursday, so I went to Ljubljana for the day, and I'm running the Pitvita Marathon tomorrow. Pitvita Marathon. Oh, uh, vaccinated. Thank you. After all that, I'm through. So, I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm like, one minute. I don't know, I don't understand. Other people were delayed. I have no idea. It did ask for a vaccine, yeah, asked for a PCR. I said vaccinated, I showed him the card. He didn't even take the card. He just glanced up and just, well, just assumed <laughs> it was legit. It was like, looked up, yeah, fine. And uh, so I'm like, okay. And uh, that's it. So now I'm off to Pit Pizza half three now so I should have been at the hotel two hours ago Google Maps says I'll be there at five past five another hour and 37 minutes and it's 98 kilometers away right I'm out of here I'm in no fit state to run a marathon tomorrow my leg is fucking killing me all right bye bye Finally here, this is where the, um, the marathon registration is. Seven hours, nearly seven hours to get here. My fucking right leg is absolutely killing me. The hamstring, it's just, oh, that was harsh, right.
let's just get in here, get this gear, get back to my, find where my hotel or B&B or whatever it is. <sighs> Probably the least prepared I've ever been for a marathon. Yeah, I am here for a marathon, isn't that right? Yeah, okay, chat later. Okay, so I have my bag. Um, very small marathon, 165. So, give me a chance if I finish it, if the leg holds out, I could finish in the top 100. <laughs> well, usually I finish in the top 10%. So that'd be like 16. 15 out of 165. Well, I think I'm pushing myself on that. That's, um, that's top 10% when I'm feeling right, when the legs are working, but I'm knackered. Oh yeah, flick your hair, dickhead. Um, I haven't fully recovered from Serbia, from Belgrade, and I've done nothing since then. I've really just, ugh, I've just no motivation. Not, I'm just not up for it at all. So I've missed out on so many runs and didn't really care. And uh, a near seven hour drive today. No, and nutrition, food. I've just been eating all those variety of breadsticks, different versions of bread and carbs. I mean, carbs is good, but I think we need a bit better quality than that. Could my hair get any more stupid looking? All right, it's a good job I don't give a shite. Okay, chat to you later. Go into the hotel, not hotel, room, B&B. I don't know what it is. Find out in about five minutes. Bye-bye. Okay, so I'm finally here in my room in Plitvica. Uh, Plitvica Lakes, Plitvica National Park, Plitvica. Um, smallest marathon yet, so 165 or something like that. I thought Belgrade was small. I've, around 500 odd, but uh, yeah. So anyway, this is my room. Um, I'm gonna switch it around. Basic, it's just what you need. It's a bed and a bathroom. And uh, what more do you want? Except I have a nice little balcony. Nice little balcony. That's my car, which I absolutely hate the most awful handling car I've ever driven in my life. Oh my word, it is shocking. House there and a house there. So I have a little balcony here. I wish I can sit and get hammered. I might sit and have a few drinks in it tomorrow night. Anyway, I'm going to walk down to the start line and um, because it's literally a few hundred meters away. So closest I've ever been to the start of a marathon. So uh, see you then. Yeah, did I tell you again, that car is horrid. It's brand new. Oh my God, it's scary. It is actually the scariest car I've ever driven. Anyway, bye-bye. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Here's my T-shirt. So here's my little Plitvica shirt with a bear. Yes, it's got a bear because the forest on the side has loads of bears. So, you? Okay, so this is the walk. That's my bag of shite car. Let's get under the start line, see how far I am. See if there's any atmosphere going on here. Is this a big deal here? Apparently it's the 36th, 36th Pit Fitcher Marathon. And again, it's a 10K and a half marathon as well. And they seem to get, yeah, like loads of people so i'm assuming there's probably about a thousand maybe because there's always tends to be about 10 times as many doing them maybe i'm just making that figure up just plucking it from me hole but you know did i sound convincing if i sounded convincing then it was true okay so um yeah um so, so right apparently these lakes are beautiful there's caves and bears and um wild dogs not wild dogs Coyotes? Not coyotes. The, the wild dog coyote family kind of thing. I'll find out about it later. I'll put it on screen if I could be asked. Oh, hello. Well, that does look like a bit of atmosphere. Well, here we go. Could be a bit of a vibe going on. There's a bistro down there anyway, so 
I mean, it may well be where I eat tonight. Tonight, it's ten past six now. Ten past six, seven feckin' hours. Oh, and it's now gated off now. It wasn't gated off earlier, but I'm in. That's all that matters. So parking is controlled, but doesn't bother me because I'm in. I have no idea if this is a really hilly um, marathon. I'm pretty certain it will be. I'm pretty certain it's hilly. Well, let's see what's going on up here. So this is where it kicks off. People are behind the barrier. Does that mean, uh, oh, is there something happening today? Who knows? I'm just talking to myself at this stage. But there's a race on today. Ah, oh, probably the kids. Probably kids. Fun race. I think they're starting down there and they're going to race up here across the finishing line. Isn't that sweet? Ah, oh, isn't that precious? Isn't that lovely? Right, anyway. Jeez, I'm gagging for a beer. Is that good? Well, I'm getting up in less than 12 hours to run a fucking marathon. Ah, oh, yeah, sure, why not? Essential carbohydrates. So I'm already... <laughs> I'm already in the worst shape I've ever been for a marathon. I'm already the least prepared I've ever been. So what's another beer going to make a difference? Yeah, I'll follow me home here now and scream health and safety. Right, so I can't go across the line yet. But, um... That's where hopefully I'm going to cross tomorrow. That's I've killed over. Oh, there's kids coming. Ah, would you look. I tell you what, for the size of them, that's some distance. A few hundred meters. Get in there, kid. Get in there, son. Go on, long hair as well. Go on, my boy. Uh, look at the one at the back. Look at the one at the back. Keep going, son. Never give in. Never give up. Don't help him. Go on, son. Keep running. What's the story of this kid? Slacker. You missed the start, didn't you? Ah, oh, you can sprint. Ah, oh, you tried to sprint. Didn't work, did it? What happened? Hamstring. There was a hamstring, wasn't it? Yeah. I'll be using the same excuse tomorrow. Just call the hamstring. Quad. Something like that. That was cracking. So I'm going to be running across that tomorrow. There's a big screen and everything. This is mad. Are you liking this commentary? Something new, I suppose. I shall walk up, will I? I'll keep walking until someone stops me. Listen, I'm wearing a Belgrade Marathon t-shirt. I'm a veteran at this crack. Oh, nice atmosphere. Looking people around. Can I get through there? I'll run through there. Why not? Right, so I'm an eight-year-old child and I'm after finishing this race. This is nice. Ah, come here. Maybe I should have put more, maybe I should have put a bit more of an effort now. Well, Hoka and Compressed Sports are here, and they're known names. Though I will never wear Hoka products ever again. Unless, of course, they want to give me a new pair of their carbon insert ones. Because the, ones, the last ones I had were shite. Compressed Sports, I have some of their socks. Socks. What do you call them? Ankle things. No, ankle things. Calf things. Yeah, they look grand. Well... They weren't shite. I don't know if they made any difference or not. But I didn't die from them, so, you know, I suppose that's a plus. Right, do I really want to walk through there again? I don't want to, I don't want to take the thunder from those kids, you know? I don't want to cloud their sunshine. You know, people might be a bit intimidated when they see me, so, you know? Let, let them have their moment. Let them have their moment, Gary, you know? No need for you to take away the joy from those young children, kids. Some of them are crap. Right, I'm gonna walk down the back way here and I'm gonna go down to this bistro place. And um, it's 20 past six. 
Might have a beer. I am going to go chill and have a beer. I drove, I was seven hours in that car. That was a shit drive. In a shit car. I nearly crashed that car a couple of times. I nearly went head on into a fella. Fucking mad. Brakes in it. Handling. Sweet Christ. Right. Anyway. I think there might well be another race. Am I getting in the way of another race? I'm such an ignorant tit. I'm so ignorant. How are you, lad? Nice hair. Uh, fairness, it's cool. I like the individuality. Right, I'm signing off now because I'm going to have a beer. It's essential carbohydrates. Bye bye now. Okay, so I'm going to have a pizza. It's quarter to seven, so I'm going to have some food. This bistro is only standing only. It's only standing only. You probably can't hear me because there's a crowd beside me. It's very, very loud. Do they not know who I am? Cheeky bastards. Um, I'm heartened by the fact that there's a table over there who look like um, veteran marathon runners. And they're all drinking beer as well. So that's all good. I'm still on my one can. And the England-Ukraine game's on later on as well. Which is a real pain in the ass. Could have been on tomorrow night, couldn't it? Then I can have a few drinks tomorrow night. I can't do it. Even though I don't really care about this marathon. I still want to put in kind of half, a half ass effort. So anyway, so there's no table so, so I'm standing. I've ordered a pizza, but I'm too hungry. I could take it away to my room, but I couldn't be asked. So that's it. Okay. Thank you. I'm still on a table, so I now can sit and have my pizza. It's a pizza. Land of lakes and bears and wild dogs and caves. Good morning. Good morning. It's 7.30, so it's about... It's not about, it's exactly an hour away till the start of the marathon. <sighs> I'm in no fit state for this. It's a lovely morning, but exposure sorts itself out. Actually lovely, when I say lovely, it was raining. It's been raining overnight. My breakfast has been Iron Max Zenith 50 high protein bar and a new new trend new not new new trend flapjack and a banana and some Diet Coke or Coke Zero because I can't get any porridge and stuff like that ah, listen anyway marathon number 11 this might be the one that I don't know my leg my right leg my hamstring is killing me from this car I hate that car car is just a horrid bag of shite the pedals seem to be offset and my right leg just was at a wrong angle the whole time and uh, I noticed that when I left Zagreb to go to Ljubljana and lucky enough the car it does have cruise control so I was able to put on the cruise control and then I could just pull my leg back and just sit it normally and just whatever but uh, yesterday's drive most of it was through mountain roads and we all know seven hours yesterday so um, yeah, there's nothing I could do, it's just, so I've stretched it, I've worn it up. I'm just getting my excuses in early. So, it's a hitting marathon as well. And I've done nothing since Belgrade. I've lost all motivation, and just lost the will. And now my arm is getting tired. Okay, so, on my way down to the start line. 7.55, bit of drizzle, but it'll clear up. Nice and cool, so that's good. Um, yeah, and I think it just rained overnight, so uh, just a bit of residual, residual precipitation. So uh, I can already see. I'm only just after walking out of my uh, accommodation, and I can already see um, at the start line. So there's uh, a lot of activity going on. So I'm hoping, getting down there a little bit early, get about oh, half an hour early, See if I can get a little bit of um, motivation. So, anyway, those are people warming up and doing bits and pieces. Some sort of an aerobics class there. So, um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Half an hour to go. Bye bye. 
Now, I'm not too sure how many people here are actually doing a marathon or doing a 10K or half marathon. So, different coloured numbers on the um, bibs. So, I've got to look. I'm walking through someone's warm up thing. And none of these people look like marathon runners. So, yeah, so obviously they're doing extensive uh, warm ups because they're doing a 10K. I really should check the colour of my bib. Be nice. Anyway. Yeah, a bit more atmosphere going on here. And I'm at the finishing line, crossing the finishing line. Very loud here now. Sorry if you can't hear me. I'll go across. I think I'm maybe triggering the thing. There you go. Soak in that atmosphere, Gary. Soak it in. You know what? I could probably have done with um, a fucking uh, a knee brace, a knee uh, compressed thing for my fucking hamstring. It really is bugging me. Stretched it last night as much as I could. I stretched it again today. Fucking uh, car. I probably already mentioned how crap that car is, haven't I? Yeah. God, it's an awful car. Anyway, whatever. That's hurt my knee. It's probably going to prevent me from doing a sub three marathon today because that was on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Sub three was on, sub three days. Okay, let me stop talking shite now. Uh, I think I gotta put on my bib and get my things together. So, I don't know where to put bags. Is there a place to put bags? No idea. Let me get my shit sorted first. Okay. Okay, so it seems to be the greens are the marathon runners and uh, the reds and the blues and the oranges are something else so some scoping up the competition all 165 of them 164 I'm number one. Oh yeah so um nice bit of a buzz going on here yeah, nice little atmosphere. This is very nice. I can't complain about this. Very chilled out. Air is lovely as compared to Belgrade, where <gasps> um, it's pro so it's probably the cleanest air of any marathon I'm ever going to run, considering the fact I'm in a UNESCO listed national park. Sorry, something on those lines. So it's cool. But you know, as in colours are nice. Probably still like a summer's day in Dublin. It is raining, but it is a bit kind of drizzly, but it's fine. So, let's see how it goes. Okay, so it's 12 minutes past 8. About 13 minutes past 8. And the nerves are beginning to kick in. Always happens. No matter, no matter how much I. How less of the crap I care initially coming up to it, try and convince myself it doesn't matter come the day. <sighs> Stomach is a nut. Um, trying to down this stuff, the hydro stuff, I don't know what it is. Okay, I'm going to do something quite mad because I can't see anywhere to put the bags. I'm actually, it's quarter past, 16 minutes past, so 14 minutes to go. I'm just going to go back to my room and dump the bag there. The only thing I really wanted to hold is my key. Um, but I, there's a little pocket in the shorts. This is supposed to be fitting. The thing is, there's no nutrition again on the run. It's just all going to be fruit again. So I've had to carry extra gels um, in another running belt. So I'm a bit bulbous, like literally. And it's just not comfortable. It's like, you know, I'm trying to strap it down between my shorts and my Under Armour thingies and uh, strap and over strapping and I've had to tighten up the straps, kind of put in uh, safety pins to tighten up the straps um, to get really, really tight. Um, so I'm carrying a lot of weight, I'm carrying six, seven, I'm carrying nine gels, 10 gels, I'm carrying 10 gels, my phone, and the key. <laughs> so, a bit daft. And really, I should be just carrying six gels and nothing else. So, um, it is what it is, you know. So, I'm just going to run back to my room 
dump everything as in the phone and stuff like that. Um, well, that's the key. 17 minutes past. It's taken me a minute to walk here. I've got 13 minutes to get them back. Now to warm up. I'll warm up on the way back. Okay. Can you tell from the time my voice is getting a wee bit nervous here? Okay. Bye-bye. Excuse the shakiness. 21 minutes past. So I'm going back to the start line. So plenty of time. I've dumped everything. Um... This outer running belt that I have with the extra gels in it is bouncing away, but it's not underneath the shorts. I haven't tugged it in yet because uh, my phone needs to go into it. And I need my phone to talk to you beautiful people. So, here we go. Warming up. Warming up. Marathon number 11. Flip feature. 4th of July, 2021. Okay, so we have four minutes to go, so I'm gonna sign off. I wanna put my phone away get it tucked in and stuff and I need a pee, I'm busting for a pee yeah, before we see you. See you later. That was brutal. Brutally awesome. I love that one. It was a mountain marathon. Now, uh, why didn't anyone tell me it was a mountain marathon. Um, yeah, serves me right for not learning Croatian. Um, that was brutal. So I knew within a few K, knew within a few kilometers, I'm like, I actually knew when I was getting here, I'm like, this ain't gonna be flat. So I'm driving over mountains and you know, whatever. And uh, you gotta realize I'm just after finishing a mountain marathon, 42 K in, you know, so I'm a little bit hyped. But anyway, so I knew once we started, I'm like, oh crap. This is, um, this ain't, uh, yeah. So time, time, pacing goes out the door, out the window. So you're just like, it's pacing and control and cause you got, and it was, a lot of it was cross country as well. So cause you're in Bear Trails, you're in the Pitcher National Park. So it was like, okay, so once I put a time out of my head, once I realized, okay, forget about time. This is just pacing and control and, you know, brutal just get through. No wonder there's only 165 people doing this. Because this ain't a normal fucking marathon. Yeah, I really wish I'd kind of known this. Actually, no, I don't wish. If I had known, I wouldn't have done it. I probably wouldn't have signed up for it if I knew it was going to be as brutal. So once I got started, I had no choice. So it is just a test. And my God. I am, I am, I'm buzzing. I am buzzing. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure I'm in the top 10%. I'd be disappointed if I'm not in the top 10%. Um, but we won't find out until later on. Um, my Garmin fucking, uh, just across the line. I pressed stop. It said, yeah, save or discard. I pressed save, and then it just fucking reset. So I've no idea what time, and when I went in, invalid time. So my entire gun, not that I'm bothered, because, um, you know, they'll, I, they'll be the chip time later on. So, um, so I'm not really that bothered, but, um, and, you know, and it worked when I needed it for pacing, you know, because the, the time is irrelevant, so. But uh, I'm pretty sure I got top 10%. But oh, that was awesome. Per feature, I mean, okay, granted, this ain't gonna be your first marathon. You know, it's, it, people here are proper runners, and you can see that. And, um, but uh, so if you've done a load, and you want to test yourself, get a mountain one, or you're really kind of like pushing for endurance marathons or ultra marathons, you know, hill, hills is, you know, I haven't done hills in years. I'm buzzing, I am buzzing, this was awesome. After Belgrave and so shit. Um, wow, this was fantastic. And I've got beer, and I'm gonna drink more. Chat to you later on.
Can you hear that? I'm in Croatia. And it's a Croatian band. And they're playing the Pogues. <laughs> they're playing the Pogues. Here in Clip Feature. They knew I was here. The only Irishman in the race. They knew I was here. They decided to play the Pogues. Unfortunately, I'm here in my room. I'm not over there. I'll go down there later on. Here you go. It's just gone 5.30 in the morning. The sound of the rain is glorious. Jeez, that sounded a bit wanky, didn't it? Clip Fitcher. National Park. Nothing but bears and coyotes. I know it's not coyotes. I keep saying coyotes. I'll have to look it up. It's a wild dog of some sort. But the rain does sound cool. I wasn't meant to get up this early. I sure I'm up. Off to Sarajevo today. <sighs> Sounds great. I'm gonna leave my door open, chill for a while. See you later.